Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Richard Montgomery Academic Awards Ceremony. Coming live, sort of, from Damon Monteleone's living room here in downtown Rockville. I know we'd all much rather be gathered together in our auditorium celebrating our seniors and recognizing each and every one of them for their outstanding academic achievements. But we will persevere and we'll make the best of this situation. And so I invite you to join us all tonight as various resource teachers, important staff members, and members of the Richard Montgomery High School community come together to celebrate our students. We're gonna begin with our departmental academic award winners. These are students who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and passionate pursuit of knowledge across all of our academic content areas. We're gonna begin with Mr. Todd Stillman from Social Studies. Mr. Stillman? My name is Todd Stillman. I'm the Social Studies Resource Teacher, presenting two awards for outstanding achievement in Social Studies. As a subject area, Social Studies is dedicated to critical thinking and effective communication. Our classes ask students to engage with differences across time and place in order to better understand the world that they inhabit. Our goal is to help nurture future leaders who can think for themselves and persuade others with logic and evidence. While there are many deserving seniors, students who filled their schedules with department electives, students who led our clubs, or students who went the extra mile to help make their classes rich experiences, two students have stood out. The first winner of Outstanding uh, Achievement in Social Studies is Lila Katz. Lila Katz is a voracious reader and a critical reflective thinker who consistently engages with challenging ideas in a thoughtful and nuanced way. One of Lila's most prominent intellectual characteristics is her ability to ponder questions from many angles and discern multiple counter arguments to any given point of view. In all of her social studies subjects, Lila has consistently brought her own ideas and interpretations to the table, challenging her classmates and teachers alike with her critical eye for bias, inconsistency, and injustice. Congratulations, Lila. This award is richly deserved. Our second winner is Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is passionately devoted to the life of the mind. He consistently engages with complex ideas and is adept at identifying the crux of an argument while also effectively challenging the assumptions and unspoken premises undergirding it. When Michael explores philosophical conundrums, he does so with both intellectual rigor and enthusiasm that is infectious. Michael's disarming outgoingness and ability to relate has made him a much appreciated contributor to every class discussion. Additionally, Michael's curiosity and enthusiasm for the life of mine is indeed contagious. Congratulations, Michael. We're very proud of you. That concludes the Social Days Awards, passing it off to the next presenter. Thanks, Mr. Stillman. And next, we're going to hear from Mr. David Wilkerson, our math department chair. Mr. Wilkerson? Hello, my name is David Wilkerson. I'm the mathematics department head at Richard Montgomery High School. As the department head, I have the distinct pleasure of presenting two awards. Both awards are for outstanding accomplishment in mathematics. The first award for outstanding accomplishment goes to Laura Yao. Mr. Davis, Laura's current international baccalaureate higher level math teacher, shared the following about Laura. Laura's had a very distinguished career at Richard Montgomery. She entered high school in IB pre-calculus, then took AP Statistics and AP Calculus BC in 10th grade, multivariable calculus differential equations in 11th grade, and IB higher level math and linear algebra in 12th grade. She earned an A in each semester of each course, so her mathematical ability speaks for itself. Probably her most significant mathematical accomplishment while at RM, however, was outside of the classroom. Last year, as a junior, Laura was a member of the five-student team that was a national runner-up in the MathWorks Mathematical Modeling Challenge, commonly known as the M3 Challenge. Laura and her teammates had the opportunity to travel to New York City last April to present their model that analyzed drug use especially by teenagers in the U.S., and provide a way to rank different drugs, including marijuana, nicotine, and opioids, 
according to how significant a risk each posed to individuals and to society as a whole. The team earned $3,000 each in scholarship money, along with $1,000 for RM, which is using the money to help more students become involved in mathematical modeling competitions and learn more about how to use math to analyze real-world issues. Laura has been a co-president of the RM Math Modeling Club this year. Congratulations, Laura. The second award for outstanding accomplishment goes to Shreyas Pandey. Ms. Getz, Shreyas' BC Calculus teacher, wrote this about him. I taught Shreyas the first semester of this year. He is a strong math student and always showed interest in the concepts beyond the mathematics we were learning. I am sure he will be successful in whatever path he chooses. Ms. Tunis, Shreyas' advanced placement statistics teacher, also shared this about him. Shreyas is a hard-working and inquisitive student. Shreyas always comes prepared to class to absorb and to question new information with an eagerness to grow. Shreyas is not only academically an outstanding scholar, but he displays a positive attitude in life and a caring manner towards his fellow students. Congratulations, Shreyas. Congratulations to you both. Job well done. Thank you, Mr. Wilkerson. And now, Ms. Leah Michaels, the head of our esteemed English department, to announce their award winner. My name is Leah Michaels, and I'm the English Research Teacher here at Richmond Community School. It's my honor to present the English Department for the Award Statistics Award. Thank you. 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 He was mature, dependable, and willing to take on any task he has to him, always with a smile. Matthew puts the same type of effort into his English assignments and often sought out help and guidance to improve his work. Ms. Murphy often said what a pleasure it was to have him in the English office every day, and his senior teacher, his focus, was impressed by Matthew's perseverance and creativity. When given any writing assignment, Matt pushed himself to constantly improve his writing craft. During class, Matt spoke with more and more confidence about the materials to help create an engaging conversation. Congratulations, Matthew. Our second award for outstanding achievement in English goes to Maylise Pinot. Maylise has been an intellectually curious and engaged student of the humanities for all four years at RM. She's a passionate creative writer, delighting in experimenting with new forms, as well as being involved in drama as a writer, director, and actor for the One Acts. Expanding her love for research and theater, she applied and was selected as a Lily McKee High School Fellow this year at the Folger Library, receiving accolades from the program directors. Maylise took Richard Montgomery's Shakespeare Club to another level, by not just rehearsing a fantastic rendition of Macbeth, but by holding regular discussions of the play itself with her club so that they would all gain an appreciation of Shakespeare's language. Her involvement with the spoken word in the Poetry Out Loud program culminated with her placing second in the state of Maryland. Matthew and Maylise represent what's great about Richard Montgomery and what it means to be an excellent student of English. We're so proud of both of you and we're so proud of all of you seniors. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Michaels. And now we're going to be joined by Ms. Amy Hunt, the head of our World Language Department, and some special guest presenters to share our winners for 2020 from World Languages. Ms. Hunt? I have the honor of being able to present the awards for World Languages. Students who excel in World Languages must show a passion to the content and culture, a willingness to take risks, and grit and determination to analyze text and structures. The first award in excellence goes in Chinese goes to Kate Chen. Yeah, hi. Kate has taken Chinese, uh, IB Chinese in uh, Richard Montgomery for four years. She came from level four to level seven right now. She's not only a good uh, Chinese, you know, student in Chinese, but also excellent on everything. Besides academic, Kate is also a great musician. She played piano and won a lot of awards. The most impressive things is uh, Kate is going to China, Beijing, Tsinghua University uh, in September to uh, for his undergraduate. Uh, he 
he believed spent four years in China, not only going to learn the language well, but also understand the culture much better. So I'm very, very proud of Kate. The next award for excellence in French goes to Elizabeth Haupt. Um, we decided to nominate Elizabeth because of her dedication to learning, her passion for French, and also I have to add her great acting abilities. Her work was outstanding. Her language skills were excellent and she was a joy to have as a student. The award for excellence in Latin goes to Marine, Mar Marine Ola. Uh, congratulations, Maureen. You've done a fantastic job. You've been in Latin two years and received national awards, silver medals in each year. Your presentations in class go above and beyond. You entertain the students in the room. You go so much in depth that you wow them all. Um, your average for two years has been A+, plus, although we don't give A+, plus, it's A. Congratulations to a wonderful year ahead. Uh, you've been a joy in class, and everybody loves you. Thank you. Finally, the award for excellence in Spanish goes to Lila Katz. Lila, I could not think about anybody else that deserves this award more than you. You have been an amazing this year in the Spanish 7. I believe that your participation has been key to the success. Um, of um, of this class. I uh, love the passion that you put into learning a new language and I hope this lasts forever and I wish you the best for the future. Congratulations to all of the award recipients from the World Language Department at Richard Montgomery High School. We wish you the best in the future. Oh. Thanks, Miss Hogg. And next up is Mr. Scott Durbin, presenting on behalf of the Science and Technology Department. Hello, I'm here to present the awards for outstanding achievement in science and technology. This year's first winner is Jessica Lee. Jessica's superior scholarship was evident in all of her science and computer science classes, of which she took nine while here at RN. Her passion and curiosity for the subject matter is hard to match, and she received rave reviews from all of her teachers. Jessica's involvement in STEM outside of the classroom sets her apart. She's a four-year member of the Science Olympiad and computer science teams. She is also a leader in CAST, a group of RM volunteers who run an after-school science program for MCPS elementary schools. Jessica is off to study computer science at UMD in the fall, where her work ethic, modesty, and intelligence can only lead to success in her STEM-filled future. Our second winner, is Dan Suma. One of his teachers described him best. Dan is deserving of this award in sciences because he makes teaching more rewarding. Dan is deeply reflective and persevering. He has the desire to want to know, to want to understand, and make connections. He's not afraid to struggle to achieve understanding, nor is he afraid to ask questions that put him in uncharted territory. Dan shares his knowledge with his peers as much as he seeks to gain knowledge for himself. Now more than ever, the world needs people with this mindset towards scientific problems. Dan shares his curiosity and enthusiasm for science every day and makes Richard Montgomery a better place. Congratulations to Jessica and Dan, and thank you. Thanks, Mr. Durbin. And now we're going to hear from Ms. Amanda Wall the head of our Fine Arts P and Health Department, as she presents awards on behalf of all the teachers across her departments. Hello, my name is Amanda Wall, and I am the Fine Arts and Physical Education Resource Teacher at Richard Montgomery High School. I will be presenting our awards for outstanding achievement within art, music, and physical education. Our first award is given to Levin Chen, who is one of our top scholars and student artists at Richard Montgomery High School. Levin possesses excellent artistic skill that he has demonstrated on a consistent basis. He is committed to achieving goals and has been juried into many art shows locally, statewide, and nationally. He is dedicated to his art making process and continues to improve, not settling for anything less than perfection. Levin has also been accepted to prestigious art institutions 
and has chosen visual art for his career path. Therefore, it has to be recognized that Levin has the heart, soul, and passion of an artist of extraordinary skill and creative essence. Next, the art department would like to recognize Maddie Kay, who is an exemplary student that has taken multiple years of photography and spent her senior year improving her photography through digital art class. She is intrinsically motivated and extremely dedicated to her studies and her art and puts forth 100% effort every day. We know that whichever path Maddie will take, she will be successful based on her merits as a student and creative individual. For outstanding achievement in music, we would like to recognize Lydia Levy. For four years, Lydia has been a dedicated member of the chorus. She is exceptionally musical and creative, kind and supportive of her peers, and works tirelessly to support our efforts as our Magical's president this year. Our next music award goes to Corinne Foley, who is one of our most musical students. Her artistry and professionalism is only matched by her kind personality and willingness to help out. Her sincere and authentic interest in both music and helping her fellow musicians has made her a driving force in our music program here at Richard Montgomery and will guide her to future successes as she becomes a music major and professional musician. Last but not least, the music department recognizes Matthew Boy. As a music student, Matthew has been an individual who has crossed over to participate successfully in both the choral and piano program. The thing that stands out the most about Matthew is his level of engagement with others, his positive attitude and curiosity, which has helped drive his ability in both piano and in chorus. From the Physical Education Department, we would like to award outstanding achievement to Freddie Martinez. Freddie is one of our most dedicated students. He has shown a dedication to the physical education, especially in the gains he has made in the weight room. Not only has Freddie been one of our best students academically, he has been extremely important as a leader and as someone who can be counted on to assist beginning students. He is always willing to lend a hand to students and teachers alike. Freddie is an outstanding athlete for RM, but perhaps one of his biggest contributions is his ability to help and improve those around him. Next, Tiffany Martinez Maldonado is our final recipient for the Physical Education Department. Tiffany is a familiar face known by all physical education teachers. Not only is she a standout PE student, but also an aide who is ready and willing to help anyone who is in need. Tiffany is what every teacher wants to see in their physical education student. She is ready to play hard, participate every day, and willing to help out others who are in need. She gives 100% every day and always has a smile on her face. Her fun personality and positive attitude makes her a presence known in class and is contagious with the other students. On behalf of the Fine Arts and Physical Education Department, we would like to congratulate this year's award recipients and the class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wall. And next up is Ms. Elizabeth Furman, our ESOL Department Resource Teacher. Ms. Furman? Good evening, my name is Ms. Furman. I am the ESOL Department Resource Teacher. And we are very honored to present the outstanding achievement for a senior to Christian Sorto. Christian Sorto moved here from El Salvador to seek a better future and to be with his family. And he had already completed one year of high school in San Salvador before he came. He was also awarded best soccer player for his team, Alcaldia Municipal de Ciudad Barrios. And here he is in the picture. One of his teachers, Ms. Shook, said he came to class every day sometimes tired from working, with a smile on his face and eager to learn. He was a role model to his peers for his work ethic and determination. Another teacher, Ms. Karakni, um, said he is an incredibly hard-working student who is also caring and helpful. Christian advocates for himself and also makes sure that he makes the most of each day. He is a great son and he helps his family. He tells me he loved all his classes, especially ESOL, Geometry, PE, and Government, 
His inspiration has been his family. He wants to go to college and be an auto mechanic. Quiero decir unas palabras a sus padres. Christian siempre pone 100% esfuerzo en todas sus metas. Él empezó en nivel 1 de inglés y ahora, bueno, él se puede comunicar muy bien en inglés. Él merece este premio y estamos muy orgullosos sobre el progreso de Christian. Felicidades a su familia y a Christian. We are very proud to present to Sumai Ome the Outstanding Achievement Award for Senior. Hi, Sumaya and everyone else. I'm so excited to be a part of celebrating all your achievements over the last four years. We've known each other since you came to Richard Montgomery in your freshman year, and over all that time, I have seen you grow tremendously, from an ESOL 1 student to an Honors English 12 student. You've done a great job, you've advocated for yourself, you've always fought to be in challenging classes and to do great work. And I'm so proud. This award is very well deserved. Great job. From all of the ESOL teachers, we want to congratulate you, Samaya, on all of your academic achievements. We want to congratulate you on the amount of progress that you've made these past three and a half years. You are a dedicated student, mature, very compassionate, and your willingness to try new things and take risks is always admirable. And Sumai, I would just like to add that we are also very proud of your achievement of three, 457 SSL hours. And that really took a lot of effort on your part, and you, I know you contributed a lot to Richard Montgomery High School and to our community. Um, we wish you the best as you move towards higher education. Sure, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Furman. And now Mr. Aaron Bernstein, the head of our SESES department, will present his department's awards. Mr. Bernstein? Hello. My name is Aaron Bernstein, and I am the resource teacher for the SESES program at Richard Montgomery. Students in the program have had to overcome many unique obstacles and challenges in their academic careers, and so when we are able to give an award like this, it is out of an enormous sense of pride in what all they have accomplished and how far they have come during their high school careers. The first student we'd like to recognize is Megan Ying. Megan's an academic all-star. She has a 4.72 weighted GPA. She's earned 30 plus credits in AP and IB classes. And in the fall, she'll be attending Carnegie Mellon University. We're exceptionally proud of Megan, what she has accomplished, how far she has come, and we know that Megan has a very, very bright future ahead of her. Congratulations, Megan, and we can't wait to see what you do in the next few years. The second student we'd like to recognize is Kai Adams. Kai is a bright and funny young man, sociable with everyone, and someone who we're also very proud of. Kai has overcome a number of obstacles to get here today, and he has shown enormous growth during his four years at Richard Montgomery. We're all exceptionally proud of Kai, and we know he has great, great things in his future. Congratulations to you too, Kai. We're very proud of all of our graduates this year. We have five seniors who are graduating from the program, and we know that they have great, great things in their future. They are an outstanding group, and we wish them all very well. Congratulations to our five graduation to our five graduates and congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Thank you. And now for somebody who's been part of the Rocket community for many, many years, I introduce to you our athletic director, Mr. John Frieda, who will recognize our athletes of the year. Mr. Frieda? Hi everyone, Mr. Frieda here, your athletic director, and I'm going to announce our 2020 Male and Female Student Athlete of the Year Award. Now before I tell you who these winners are, I just want you to know that all the coaches get together, fall coaches, winter coaches, spring coaches, and we try to find that senior student athlete that plays multiple sports, represents Richard Montgomery High School, the community, the athletic department in the highest regard. 
We're looking for good grades. We're looking for strong leadership. We're looking for the highest character kids on our team that really embody and represent what we think it means to be a true rocket. Um, someone who is rocket pride 24 seven, on the field, on the court, in the hallways, in the classroom, out in the community, our, our ambassadors to the school, they represent everybody and they represent us well. Okay, so without any further ado, I would like to start with ladies first, our female student athlete of the year, Caroline Maggio. Caroline plays field hockey, basketball, and lacrosse. Her overall GPA during high school was a 3.93. Weighted, it's a 4.59. So far this year, she's had a 3.8 twice. Her varsity field hockey coach, Coach Montesino, said Caroline was a vital part of our art and field hockey program the second she stepped on the field. It's been awesome to watch her grow as an athlete and more so into an even greater person over all these years. It's been an honor to be her coach. Coach Oaks, Caroline's basketball coach, said he wants to thank Caroline for being a model teammate and leader throughout her high school basketball career. She exemplifies what it means to be a rocket and she's very deserving of this award. Coach Mullinex, Caroline's lacrosse coach, said Caroline is an amazing person. She's extremely dedicated and she's been the captain for him for four years. She's a leader and a role model on the field and off the field. She's hardworking, loving, caring, and thoughtful, and he will miss her tremendously. You could not ask for a better person in leadership. Not only that, but Caroline is also, she has served as Richard Montgomery's student athlete leadership council member for the greater MCPS. She has been our representative for student athlete leadership this year. So Caroline, congratulations. You deserve it. Take care. Next up for our male student athlete of the year 2020, we have two. So this is co-male athlete of the year. Number one, male athlete of the year in no particular order. Aiden Fonseca, congratulations Aiden. Aiden played football and lacrosse this year. Aiden's GPA over the course of his high school career is a 3.96. Weighted, it's a 4.63. And so far this year, quarter one, two, and three, Aiden has had a 4.0 every quarter. Great job, Aiden. Student athlete, student comes first and you sure get it done in the classroom as well as the field. According to Coach Poole, Aiden's lacrosse coach, Aiden was an absolute workhorse in the weight room and on the field. Aiden was Mr. Everything for the lacrosse team. He scored goals, he dished out assists, he cleared the ball, he played defense, he got ground balls. He is the type of player that every coach dreams about having on their team. And last year, leading up into the season, he was first team all county, and all met honorable mention in lacrosse. Congratulations, Aiden. Coach Klotz, Aiden's football coach, also said that Aiden approaches everything he does with an innate sense of competition. Whether it be academics, football, or lacrosse, he does this all while remaining humble and committed to helping others. He has earned the deep respect of all his coaches and his teammates. Aiden also was a 2019 Scholar Athlete Award for football, and he was All-County Honorable Mention in football. Aiden, congratulations, man. You deserve it. And our other co-male athlete of the year, 2020, is Harrison Oler. Congratulations, Harrison. Harrison played basketball and lacrosse this year. Harrison's overall GPA over the course of his high school career is a 3.13 weighted 3.45 in this year, his senior year. He has already earned over a 3.5 twice. So great job in the classroom, Harrison, as well as on the field and on the court. Coach Breslaw, Harrison's basketball coach, said Harrison was an integral part of the boys' basketball state championship runs over the past two years. His contributions were extensive and considerable. 
There is no question that Harrison sacrificed personal achievements for the overall success of the basketball team, in which he helped amass a 45-6 and record over the past two years while getting two regional championships. Breslau said Harrison is the perfect teammate and a true leader. Coach Poole Harrison's lacrosse coach said Harrison was an absolute game changer on the field and on defense. He always took on the other team's best player. He rose to the occasion and he shined on the brightest stages. Harrison was a leader, a teammate, and a friend to his RM student athletes. Everyone will be cheering Harrison on as he goes to the University of Utah to play lacrosse for them. Um, congratulations, Harrison. Harrison was also a 2019 first team All County and 2019 Under Armour All American for lacrosse. Great job, Harrison. Congratulations, Harrison. Congratulations, Aiden. And congratulations, Caroline. You guys are the best. Go Rockets. Thanks, Mr. Frieda. And now we'll hear from Ms. Lorigans a longtime math department chair and integral part of the RM community for many, many years. This guest is going to announce our Sandy Heyman Math Award winner. And then we're going to hear from Mr. Steve Shuck, the president of our athletic boosters, to announce their award. Ms. Getz, Mr. Shuck. Hello, my name is Laura Getz, and I have the honor of presenting the Sandra Heyman Higher Level Math Award this year. Sandra Heyman was a math teacher at Richard Montgomery from 1988 through 1998. She was responsible for creating and teaching the first multivariable differential equation course at Richard Montgomery and taught it until she passed away suddenly in November of 1998. It was one of the first courses in the county and we had students from neighboring high schools come to Richard Montgomery in order to take Sandy's class. The recipient is chosen from seniors in multivariable and differential equations and the recipient will receive a check for $500 from the Heyman family. Their name will also be added to the plaque that hangs in the math hallway honoring Sandy. This year, the Sandra Heyman Higher Level Award goes to Katie Kalanya. Katie has taken our most rigorous STEM courses at Richard Montgomery, including Magnet AAF as a freshman, along with computer science, Magnet Pre-Cal and AP Statistics for sophomore year, AP BC Calculus for junior year, Higher Level Math and Sandy's course, multivariable calculus and differential equations for senior year. If you do the math, you understand that Katie has chosen to take more than one math class most years of high school. She not only earned A's in all of her math courses, all quarters, all semesters, she has accomplished this while also taking and earning A's in chemistry and physics, all math dependent courses, of course. I had the privilege of teaching Katie for her first semester at Richard Montgomery as a freshman. It was evident then that Katie had a very strong background in math, but even that early, Katie stood out as a student who consistently demonstrated a strong desire to understand the concepts behind those skills. I sadly didn't have Katie as a student in either her sophomore or junior year, but she always made a point to come by my classroom and say, well, yell, hello, Mrs. Getz, with that, so with that smile and that wave and that excitement. Fortunately, I did get to have Katie in class again this year for second semester in differential equations, and I was not surprised to find that not only was she still as interested and as passionate about mathematics, but had the same infectious smile and personality that I have always associated with her. Katie had a leadership role in the Math Honor Society and participated in national mathematical modeling competitions. She was accepted to many prestigious universities and has decided to attend Princeton University. Congratulations, Katie. I know that you will make great contributions to their campus community, just as you have here. Take care. I'm going to introduce Ms. Nancy Shea, our IB Diploma Coordinator, who's going to share the winners of this year's Governor Merrick Scholars. These are students who have demonstrated themselves to be 
within the top 5% of the graduating class of 2020. They indeed have achieved at the highest academic levels. Michelle the following students are the recipients of the Governor's Award. Samantha Brown, Jessica Chai, Emily Chen, Alyssa Kong, Francis Durso, Daniel Espejo, Kaden Fu, Dina Gamrudi, Aiden Goldenberg Hart, Avery Jones, Lila Katz, Aisha Kwaja, Rachel Click, Katie Kalodner, Alast Kuistani, Nam Lam, Rose Lee, Jessica Lee, Jennifer Lee, Isaac Lim, Angela Mu, Rebecca Navarro, Kaylin Pack, Jasmine Pham, Helen Chian, Theodore Saywell, Vicki Tan, Zachary Tiselko, Shivani Tiwari, Joy Wang, Sophia Wang, Stephanie Wang, Valerie Wang, Kisha Yan, Nicole Yanakiev, Helena Yang, Jack Yang, Laura Yao, Julie Yeo, Kathy Young, Catherine Zhang, and Emily Zhao. Congratulations to all of you. Thanks, Michelle. And now Mr. Joe Jelen, our IB Magnet Coordinator, will present this year's Presidential Awards for Educational Excellence. Mr. Jelen. Good evening. I'm proud to present this year's President's Award for Educational Excellence, awarded to students by maintaining at least a 3.5 unweighted GPA for the last three quarters of school. The following students will receive this award. Thank you, Mr. Jelen. And now we're going to hear from Ms. Evan Anderson, a wonderful counselor at Richard Montgomery High School and our Student Service Learning Coordinator, who will recognize our seniors who have documented 260 or more SSL hours and will receive the Certificate of Meritorious Service from the Maryland State Department of Education and a purple tassel to be worn at graduation. These will be distributed with our caps and gowns. Ms. Anderson? The Certificate of Meritorious Service is awarded to seniors who have completed 240 student service learning hours or more in their high school careers. The class of 2020 has completed over 100,000 hours in total, and there are 194 recipients of this certificate.
Thank you, Mrs. Anderson. And now we're gonna recognize those students who have shown tremendous academic growth throughout their four years at Richard Montgomery High School. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Vina Robertson, our senior class administrator, to recognize our featured scholars of 2020. Ms. Robertson. My name is Vina Robertson and I'm the 12th grade administrator. I am going to be sharing the names of the featured scholars. Featured scholars are students who have raised their GPA by 0.5 or higher from their freshman year to their senior year. Our featured scholars are Mudahir Abbasi, Sean Adams, Aaron Adams, Rufael Banjau, Noah Beginnis, Tristan Bell, Camille Chavis, Nikolai Kristen, Jonah Chuang, William Davenport Thomas, Jessica Dias, John Dunn, Natalia Gonzalez, Michael Guthrie, Amina Haruna, Colby Hendricks, Michelle Johnson, Naima Lewis, Matthew Lynn, Daniela Miranda, Juliette Nguyen, Marcus Perosi, Daniel Porquin, Edward Riscala, Vanessa Romero, Zale Tlemceny, Dan Suma, Annette Valladeris, Jeffrey Verrier Pockles, Claire Walters, and Jason Zhang. Congratulations. And finally, it is my privilege to recognize two exceptional seniors for our school's most prestigious award, our Rocket Award. These are seniors who have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement across all content areas, who have demonstrated themselves to have an innate curiosity for the pursuit of knowledge, and who are outstanding citizens and have always demonstrated and shown respect for others. They have a sense of pride in the Richard Montgomery High School community and have done everything within their power to uplift those around them. These students have been involved in school activities, clubs, extracurricular activities, as well as athletics, and they have met the requirements for the Student Service Learning Award. Our first Rocket Award winner has done extremely well throughout her entire time in the Richard Montgomery IB program. Modeling all the attributes of the IB Learner Profile, she's a highly engaged student within our school community and has a lot of Rocket pride. Some of her RM activities include Varsity Soccer, the Science Olympiad, Model Congress, Women in Engineering, she's been the Vice President and the Director of Outreach there, National Honor Society, the Neuroscience Club, and many others. She spends her time outside of school volunteering with the National Center for Children and Families and has helped set up a STEM club for students all throughout the RM community. This student I'm proud to announce is Abby Geary. Congratulations, Abby. The next Rocket Award winner has been an active member of the SGA and the marching band for his entire career at Richard Montgomery. He can be seen in the halls of RM with his camera in hand, ready to capture rockets in action. He always brings a big smile and a positive attitude to any event, and has been a vital part of the RM community really from day one. Much of his over 1,000 SSL hours were spent supporting the Richard Montgomery community, as well as his faith congregation. He is what I believe typifies a well-rounded RM rocket. With over a 3.0 and a rigorous course load in hand, he has truly developed into an excellent student while juggling an array of extracurriculars. Our second Rocket Award winner is Eddie Riscala. Congratulations, Eddie. And so concludes the 2020 Academic Awards Ceremony for Richard Montgomery High School, coming to you virtually from my living room. I hope that you've enjoyed this evening's presentation. I thank all of our incredible students, our resource teachers, and all of our staff who participated in this event. And I hope soon that we are one day again face-to-face -face inside the halls of Richard Montgomery High School. Thank you.